much time on, on your part. Take me I'm just going to walk you back there. Okay. And, uh, I'll explain what you're looking at while we're doing it, and okay. you can either use it or not. So okay. you might. Um, I got it. So I, I'm I'm walking you down our down our hallway here and pass a pass. Okay. Yes, I can see it fine. Thank you. So I'm going to kind of stand back and let you get kind of a and then top view where you can see the you tip. You can kind of go around it, and we'll show what some of the airframes look like before they're populated and all. Now, if you walk over next to it, that'll give us some kind of a sense of the size. There you go. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Yep, that gives me a chance to uh, see what uh, what it looks like. What a beautiful airplane! Yeah, it's a. It, this is a. Uh, we're we're really pleased with how this this turned out. It's about twenty five pounds, roughly six feet long, fuselage thirteen foot long, wingspan. Um, you, can, you can see the gimbal right there. Uh, so the Falcon Vision gimbal down there. Right here, yeah. This is kind of the skunk works. This is what the fuselage looks like. Oh, yeah. Put together. It's designed so that this whole front section drops down. In that are all the electronics, the battery, the payload. It's a pretty clever, it's a pretty clever design because it's it's just held up by four fasteners and in terms of fixing stuff and replacing parts it's uh it's um uh it's pretty remarkable this 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 actually carbon fiber part of the fuselage weighs less than a pound so that's yeah, a, amazing now i assume then the bottom parts of that uh will be fabricated out of fiberglass so you can get it for radio frequency purposes yeah this is this is the front part of the bottom what we call the payload bay right this is actually fiberglass because of antennas and so forth that get in there right yeah and so uh um so do you have the battery pack there handy somewhere it, it is right where is it <laughs> they're out testing it uh, it is not in here. It wasn't here. That's probably in. Let me go to the Jones office and steal it from him. So, John, where are you located in Albuquerque? Out near Sandia? Okay, it's about a okay. six pound, uh, six cell lithium ion polymer battery. Okay. Nothing particularly fancy about it. It is made. Uh, custom made for us because we we wanted to maximize the energy in a certain size and weight sort of uh, right uh, situation. But that's that's it. That's the heaviest component in there. And uh, we also carry a small two cell lithium ion polymer auxiliary battery for controlling uh, flight services and communications and things like that. Right. Right. So. Very cool. Are you where I, I was asking while you were going back there? Are you located out near Sandia Labs, or where are you in Albuquerque? We're very close to Sandia Labs. Okay. We're, uh, we're uh, the name of the street to get to the labs is called Eubank, and we're just we're just east of that. Oh, and we're, okay. we're, we're we're in kind of a, a yeah. We actually have a I can't get into it, but we have a we have a a, a pretty significant. Relationship with them. Okay, so where do you? I assume you've obviously test flown this. Where do you typically go to test fly it? Well, we have been doing all of our test flights up in Denver until uh, we moved. We, we we moved and consolidated everything from Denver into out. We had operations up in Denver, but we consolidated them all when we moved into, into this facility in December. And so up until that time, we were flying at a private airstrip up in. Oh, okay. Denver. Um, we will be flying next week out east of the city at another private airstrip out there. Okay, so wh why Albuquerque? Uh, I am a native of oh, Albuquerque. I well, up here with the college here, left for 35 years and came back. And, and I used to commute up to Denver, and when they asked me to if I'd take on this role, I said I'd be happy to do it, but I'm, I'm not going to fly back and forth to Denver in an airplane yeah. in a week. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. So, all that's... right, very good. Well, thank you for uh, giving me the tour. Appreciate okay. it. Well, thank you. I hope that. Uh, uh, let me know when you get this thing posted. I might want to put a link on it to my website if that's okay. I know. I definitely will. No problem whatsoever. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye bye.